Hey, so let's take a look at Barbie Bazaar from April of 2003. So if you haven't noticed the theme here, I'm trying to do all of my April editions within the month of April. I don't know if I can fit them all in, but we'll try to see what we can get done. Now, if you like any of these particular pages and you feel like I'm not spending enough time on them, guess what? There's a button on your computer that says pause. You can pause it and look to your heart's content because some of the stuff I will be flipping through rather quickly. I have not looked at this magazine in several years, this particular issue. But there are some things I know that will be in here like vintage. Not my thing. Hey, if you like it, pause it and, and read it to your heart's content. No hate here. So let's take a look at what's going to be inside of this particular magazine. We have Barbie. It's Ace Film Producer, the One Modern Circle, which was a fantastic line. I had to have every single one of those. I, I love every one of those. Um, we have Modern Art, Dining, Marx Style. I don't think that's talking about capitalism versus Marx. And then Beauties from Brazil. Hmm. All right. Sounds like a good issue. I already like the cover, the artwork on the cover, the colors. It just pops. One Modern Circle is a great way to bring vintage faces into a modern doll setting. I, I thought it was a great idea because me personally, I'm not a fan of the vintage dolls, but when you make it look this good, I can't not like I just have to like it. I mean, it's just too much amazing going on in that one particular doll. Now, at the beginning of all these, we know that there's going to be a bunch of ads, but in this particular situation, we got the Lollipop Girls, and I definitely had a few of these. I know I had this one right here. I hated to have the other Lollipops in my hands. Well, I don't know if I've had that particular one. I had that girl with the green hair like that. So that's why it's hard for me to remember which one I had. They came with the skinniest bodies. Oh, yeah, I had that one because I remember the little pants. I had that one. So, yeah, I remember a few of them that I had, but, again, they came with the skinniest bodies. So, hey, um, good luck on trying to get any other fashions on them. Then we have Sandy, who is with uh, Greece. I thought she was from America. Hmm. Oh, well. So I guess she was from Greek. It's all Greek to me. Now that is a really cool looking outfit. I think that's great looking, but it's too much nice for me. And then on the cover, we got the One Modern Circle, all four of them right there. That was wave one. Wave two was like they were going to some Emmy Awards or something. I don't know. They were all in dresses and dress wear. The Kins, I like how they all changed the color of their hair and it really looked different from series one to series two. Um, I think the Ken in blue was the second one. I don't, I know, okay, that one I kept on the original. The other one, I made it to more of a play doll, so it was more fun to play with. If I haven't shown the video yet, it's coming up. I know I made a video of it, because I had, had, I did both of them. Uh, Sabone, which I think is what her name is right there. Fantastic, beautiful face. Love her. And then Melody, which was really, um, Midge, which I thought it was Midge. So whenever I mentioned her in the video later, it, it, it you just watch my you know shorts i do shorts i video every day of my favorite fashion figures and um well let's just put it this way i kept calling her midge all right yeah smasheroo go go i had that one on i got it on sale at kb toys when it won't sell these i have no desire for to be honest with you i mean they're kind of pretty but at the same time the reason i don't like these they have these made these faces it just they don't eh. They just make me not, I don't know. I like smiling faces, and they're just, mm, something about that makes me just want to be on the defensive. I guess some people like that. Me, not so much. I think I had that can at one time. Or is it a different one? I definitely had this. I wish I still did. If I do, it's in storage. Yep, I don't live in a mansion, so I can't have everything out showing it all the time, that's for sure. And I'm not about to buy one of those places to keep it, so I had to get rid of a lot of stuff over the years. Uh, what are they called? Like, you know, your places that people pay like $80 a month to store their stuff? Oh, no. No, no, thank you. Not at all. Here's what I like. See, they took vintage faces, and they gave them new life. So the Midge face became Melody. See how you can tell it's the same face? They took the original, I guess the original Barbie face, and gave it to her. And then this... Wait, I'm a little confused. So did Midge or her become this? Okay, so I'm a little confused by that, but hey, it says, Melody uses the 1967 TNT face mold without eyelashes, similar to this 1967 Boulogne standard Barbie doll. Oh. 
And what's up with the midge is what I'm wondering. I'm trying to see if I see the word midge somewhere. Okay, Melody calls her best friend Ken. Midge. Okay, so she shares the same happy-go-lucky demeanor as Midge from 1963, right down to the freckles. And that's what threw me off, is the freckles made me think it was Midge. Melody is a carefree people pleaser who is everyone's best friend. All right, so that's just a little bit of information right there. My voice is getting scored, but I might not be able to finish this. Ken? According to this, is using the vintage head mold, similar to this Ken from 1962. So very much the same, except he has real hair. Well, rooted hair, let me put it that way. Oh, that's where those pants came from. Yeah, I have those pants inside. All right, yep. Yeah. I redressed her because I just don't really care for the muscle shirt on a woman thing. Uh, it's just kind of weird. Now she's in her original outfit because that outfit's smashing. Simone is absolutely smoking. So this is Simone. If I'm getting that name wrong, I'm gonna be embarrassed again. Melody follows blah 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 blah. It says Melody though. Alright, yep, here it is. One modern circle, Simone uses the same head as the uh, Malibu PJ, or as we call it, the Steffi face. Yeah, and if anybody knows me, they know that uh, for the longest time, PJ was <clears throat> the prettiest face that the in the entire Mattel family. I just thought it was the most pretty face ever. It, it looked a lot like Tuesday Taylor is probably why. That's pouty lips, those pretty eyes. It's a very pretty doll. The Bee Files. The out of the world, one of a kind locator. So again, vintage stuff. Freeze it, you know, pause the screen, read to your heart's content, but passing on. Final countdown continues in the B files. Pause it, because I'm not. Dining a la Marx. Now, Marx was a company that made furniture made out of plastic. Back in a time when plastic was something that was new, or pioneering, I guess you can say. So, the buffet, dining table. It looked really good. The furniture they made was fantastic. Very of its time. Now, if you want like these kind of place settings, I don't know exactly what they're saying right here, but I have Remit and they do a fantastic job. Remit is a Japanese company that makes miniatures that are very Barbie scale from, except for their furniture. Their furniture is like more 118 scale maybe uh, depends on which furniture you get yeah it's kind of hard to tell but there are dishes and they have food which is a lot of people buy like the little sushi sets and the little you know, pastry sets very excellent sets okay we have a collector's checklist for kelly's clubhouse if you're a kelly collector the modern ones are called chelsea i guess i don't know i'm if i see a modern one i call it kelly it's just, it is what it is to me. I just call it Kelly because Kelly was that scale. I don't know why they changed the name. Why would you mess with something that's like, if it's if it's not broke, why break it? Okay, so we got ads in the middle of that time. We got look ahead. So we got Barbies that are coming out. Now, remember when Birthstones was something that Barbie, or the um, they were doing with the, I just thought they were fantastic looking, period. I mean, those are absolutely fantastic. They did another series too, and I can't think of what it was, but I have some fantastic black faces from it, or African-American faces from it. But uh, I want to say it was Burstone. I can't remember, it's been a long time. But I tracked those things down, because these look good, but then the, ones, the other ones were fantastic too. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure it's Max Steel's chest and that Fabio looking uh, body. Yeah, I do think that was the can that I had because I just didn't like the clothes. I got him totally different clothing. But that Silkstone can, mine's wearing totally different clothing. I might even sold the original clothing. I don't know what I did with it. 
Oh, that is a great looking Native American one. I totally have this one. And I have this one too. Those are adorable. All right, so once again, we're doing some stuff that eh, you can pause it and look at it to your heart's content. I'm not trying to be little. I'm just saying, like, some people complain about it. I'm like, well, then pause it. I mean, I just, I, I know that my voice is getting hoarse, and I'm ready to take a break for the day. We're having pollen right now because this morning it was storming like crazy, and now it's like after a storm, the flowers are like, it's time to pollinate, and they go crazy. So we're getting a lot of pollen right now. Even my neighbor came down and talked to me all again. She's like, I'm getting a lot of pollen. She's from up north, so she's not used to all this. Uh, she spends half the year up there, basically. And she wants to move down here. Wouldn't blame her because the beach is amazing. I wouldn't want to live in Maryland or whatever. I mean, no offense to anybody who lives in Maryland. It's just I don't like snow. I don't like cold. I don't like any of that. I like it down here where it's nice and hot and humid. Like this morning, it was like 40. No, not 40. It was like. I actually didn't get that cold this morning, but like when it's like 65 degrees, you might think that's cold. Um, it's humid, so that offsets it. Barbie Golden Groove Set. Now, this is very groovy, shagadelic, very shagadelic. Yeah, yeah. I like that number. Uh, oh, see, that's just direct. I think that's pretty cool. The 2003 Foreign BMAA competition results are in. Get on the horn. Find out more about it. Now, back in 2003, I did not have high-speed internet. We had dial-up, and you know, it wasn't when it was still 10 hours is all you got a month. It was just, it's all you can bear. It's like, oh, I can only do so much of this. It drives me crazy to have to go from one page to another. And the pictures, you couldn't get a picture. Like, this is about the size of the pictures you get on the screen. Because if you got anything bigger, just shut your computer down. And see, you couldn't handle getting a picture. There's a lot of pictures on here. I'm trying to, like, my brain's trying to absorb all of this. I really love this one right here. Of course, because I'm Cherokee, and I like anything Cherokee. You can tell from my skin, though. Uh, I had a nickname because I'm the whitest person on my dad's family. Um, everybody is way darker than me. I always felt like I was the white sheep of the family. Now that people say you're the black sheep of the family, uh, I feel like I was the white sheep of the family. I love the Japanese ones like this and this look really cool. Shoot, what am I saying? They all look really good. Then we got some more ads. And more ads. If you haven't seen my Paul David one, I have a Paul David uh, catalog video. I think that's already been produced or released or whatever. Check it out. It's, a, it's an entire like magazine full of Paul David stuff. Or it's his it's his catalog. There's not much to it, but yeah, it's just interesting. See, back before we can order things online that easily, we had to order them through catalogs. Bring in on, bidding on Barbie. Oh, yeah, there was an eBay back then. Ugh. We were the first time I ever got on eBay. There was, like, not very many pictures back then. You just had to, like, know what you were looking for. And I didn't understand, like, there was a reserve on something. I was like, I want it. And the woman was like, no, there was a reserve on it. I was like, I want it. I thought I won something. And the woman was trying to explain to me, no, it was a reserve. And I didn't know what a reserve was. Oh, the guy's still there cutting down trees? Either that, there was a giant bear in the woods. Oh, so here's the Brazil Vicky dolls. They're called Vicky in, in Brazil. I guess the word Barbie is offensive. I don't know. They do use a lot of Steffi faces, though. Oh, we could read it right there. Here's the pause. You can pause it right there. If you want to look at the pretty pictures, you can pause right there. I'm kind of looking at them right now, personally. I think they're really pretty, especially the Vicky faces. Or not the Vicky, Steffi faces. Well, I could have sworn they were called Vicky. 
That's what I remember seeing, Vicky. Barbie and Bob. That's so funny. I don't know why they call him Barbie and Bobby. I like that new wave outfit. That's groovy. That right there. New wave. So is that like their version of Rocker? No, they got Rock Star. Wow, they got some really cool looking ones. Now this is this right here is the best part of this magazine so far. Vaquero. What's that mean? It's like Rocker. So okay, so they got Bob and then they got Ken and I'm like so confused. There's Vicky. I don't know, maybe it was a friend of hers named Vicky. I, I know I've seen a lot of Vicky stuff. But I like that New Wave stuff. That's cool. New Wave was a music style of the 80s, like like Thompson Twins or Oingo Boingo or whatever. Or maybe Blondie was even New Wave. Hmm. Moda Fista. Alright, so if you want to see that page, you can pause it right there. I'm going to look at the pictures a little bit right here, though. I've been sitting down too long. I did another magazine right before this. I should have got up and ran around a few hours. But I noticed that when I, I was about to say, the battery's almost dead, so I better go ahead and do one more. Take it in there and charge her up and see how these videos came out. Because I'm using the iPhone 7, so I hope they're coming out good. I know that the indoor lighting, the iPhone 7 does not like LED lighting. The new ones didn't care. Didn't seem to have a problem. Ellie's Cam Clark. I don't know what that is. So if you want to pause it right there, hopefully it's got it all in the frame. Just want to make sure at least the bottom, there we go. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but hey. If you're interested in that, you can pause it there and pause it here over here you can pause it hopefully that's got it enough where you can read it you can pause it there now I'm looking at those pictures at the bottom right there hmm. I really don't like their bodies that much on these dolls they were Alex dolls I don't know it looks like her boobs are about to fall out of that dress but, all right, okay women if there's any women that are actually watching this would you wear something like that where your boobs are about to pop right out of that? I, I just really feel like that's just something I personally would not want to wear. I try to cover mine up. I guess on a hot day, though, you know. Even then, though, it seems like the tops wouldn't need to be cooled down as much as the underneath part. So there's the the remit food. I'm pretty sure. It looks like it looks like the remit food I have. Maybe it's the American Barbie. You know they do have the uh, what was that company they made for a while there? I don't I don't remember. But yeah, Barbie had her own thing that she was coordinating with some other company, uh, like Little's Kitchen or something like that. There's my favorite. This is my favorite version of Kevin. I like the I just liked his outfit the most. Those are his shoes. So it just, they look like no other shoes. I've never seen those shoes before on any other fashion figure. I think he's, the, that's the only time they ever got used. It's pretty cool. He has Star Wars, although it's a bad Star Wars. <laughs> that is a typical boy's uh, room, all right. Except he's not watching TV. He's listening to music. I get that actual music box. You push it on top of it somewhere and it makes music. I know that. An old timey computer, skateboard, Pepsi bottle. Wait, Pepsi bottles used to like, that's a really good picture. Let me zoom in on it real quick. It's got a lot of good things going on in that. That's from Blaine's uh, bedroom set. The NBA basketballs are from any basket. There's like billions of those. Let's take a look at this one and see what's going on in this picture. 
I want to pause it and take a look at this for a few hours or whatever. And then up here, it looks like they reupholstered a couch because I don't think any couches came like that. That's easy to do. I actually did that too. I got some kind of sticky stuff. You know the original 1977 Dreamhouse furniture? I had a chair that it was tearing up. I got it at a yard sale or something and the stuff that was on it was just coming off. So I went ahead and got it all off, which took forever. And then I put some new stuff on there. So it's really cool. And look at all these games. I did get something just recently called um, Micro Toys something. It's like it's like packaged toys. The only game I got was a Ouija War and I ain't keeping that. That's trash. All right, let me zoom back out so we can get back to looking at a full page at a time. All right. Got all aboard Barbies. So we got the Barbie Dream Boat. I don't know what Gilligan's Island has to do with it particularly. Seems like it's more of like a love boat kind of thing. Dream Boat set sail for a three hour tour. A three hour tour. And see, you fold these parts in, you fold it together, and it becomes a carrying case. Very clever. I miss clever. I miss like cases like that where you can put your stuff in it when you're done. So play set and you fold it up. The Star Trek um, Mego bridge set. God, that thing is amazing. I, my, my best friend when I was a kid had one. And I really wish I had one. It's a lot of fun to play with. Okay, so if you want to read that, there's the policy. Over here we have pink icing. How to hand sculpt a glitter gown. It's a piece of cake. It looks like they're really putting frosting on that doll. Oh, God, that's a lot of glitter stuff. Ugh. I have an aversion to glitter. Wow, there's a lot of really good stuff in here. Fashion Avenue stuff. And I wish the clothing was as good as Fashion Avenue. It'd probably be like $20, though. Like, modern day fashions, nah. So if you can get all this on your screen, because that's a lot of stuff on that page. These are like the little $5 dolls, though. Remember when the cheap dolls used to have clothes on instead of being painted on and molded in a certain plastic? I don't even know why they even do it. I think it's cheaper to make the bodies and then put different dresses on them than to make the different, like, you know, like to do the Disney dolls. They're horrible now. So Sarah Michelle Geller, hmm. They think that she looks like Chair Flair Barbie. Eh, never thought about it myself. I had Chair Flair Barbie. I'd like the chair. That rocker midge, or is that diva? Get away, man. She's had it some time. Oh, I feel a bug crawling on my back. Eek. <coughs> Wear it out. So this is when they take some of the dresses and they redress them in different ways. They even put like G.I. Joe in some kin clothing. There's a amazing nails, Kayla. She was a fantastic figure. There's a Teresa with the Fashion Avenue. I like the Ken surfing clothing from Air. They had a lot of boxer outfits too at that time. Like you could put different boxers on Ken. And there's that mod feeling groovy or whatever. Okay, I feel like oh, it is just one page. And now we got to the ads. Lots and lots of ads. And then a look ahead from page 20. So it's talking about, you know, coming up dolls. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we got Barbie Bazaar Price Guide. I'd like to look at these. I got some really interesting stuff. Remember Dusty? Man, she was hideous. Doosty Taylor. I love Doosty Taylor. Isis. That's the 8-inch uh, Mego. But Dusty? I, I cut her hair and made her into a boy. I just couldn't handle it. It's just... It's just I'm sorry. If you love Dusty, I'm sorry. I just don't like her. 
So on this page, we got a lot of really good stuff. But on the next page, we got a lot of even more book shields. I remember that doll, Craig. I definitely would love to have a good version of Craig. I think I had that Jorash doll. Because I used to call her, okay, is that candy right there? I definitely had that candy. Oh, I love Darcy. I wish I had Darcy's again. I think I got rid of all my Darcy's, unfortunately. She came with the most manly body. Ugh, it's horrible. So did Bionic Woman, but I have Bionic Woman still. My hair on hers is just terrible. Adventure Girl, never heard of it. That looks pretty cool. I had Kate Jackson. I wanted Jacqueline Smith, the one in yellow. And then I think that's Chris, or Sabrina Kelly and Chris. Yes, Charlie's Angels. I think that's actually, okay, Jill was the first one with Fair Fawcett. Chris replaced her as the next blonde. Sabrina Kelly and Chris. Yes, Charlie's Angels. And then Jim Dawes. Somebody was saying that they don't know if they could ever make them again. I think you should. I think you should have them stuck in the 80s forever. I, I You know, because we, we used to watch, when I was in the 80s, we watched Happy Days in the 50s. I think it would totally work. All right. Wow. We're getting toward the end of the magazine. And, man, we have been there almost 30 minutes. If you've stuck this long, let me thank you so much. Because there's so much in here to look at. This is a great magazine. There's a lot. Oh, my gosh. Uh, never removed from Oh, my gosh. I wish I had this and this. I had a green dress for Bionic Woman when I was a kid. It had the little cutouts on the side of her um, stomach, I guess. Oh, yeah, I had all the... Uh, what were they called? Backstreet Boys or New Kids on the Block? I had all the New Kids on the Block dolls because just more competition for Ken, I guess. Happy to be me. Oh, I hated that doll. I got it just because, you know, just to have it. But it was a hideous figure. It really was. I'm not saying people are hideous of different shapes. I just think that they were doing it and they didn't do it well. James Dean with the Freddy Krueger shirt on. Megastar. I did have the Valerie Arnes. It's VIP. It's uh, Pamela Anderson's show. I had that doll. It it was weird. It had some weird articulation to it. A Dolly Parton fashion. Man, I would love to use fashions. Broadway dancers. I think I had something like that when I was a kid. Wait, the Wizard of Oz had fashions? What? That <laughs> would be un so unusual. Look at the Wicked Witch, and she's going to go do aerobics. All right. <laughs> Look, the Cowardly Lion's going out for a jog. He's wearing his jogging outfit. That would be so weird. Brooke Shields had fashions. I guess I guess she did. I just never thought about it, to be honest with you. I know I had some DoorDash fashions. Those were pretty easy to get a hold of. Um... Oh, I was about to say, that's not Cindy. Okay, I see the arrow's pointing from it. I did have that Pepsi outfit. That pleather outfit, the shirt tore apart. I think mine was in a bigger set, though, because it had, like, the cooler and the swimsuit. and It was, like, in a bigger set that had all the little beach stuff, you know? But Dolly Parton Fashion, did they have a 12-inch or 11-and-a-half-inch doll? I, I did not. I didn't know that. I mean, I would love to have a Dolly Parton doll just done. Anyway, I think it'd be fascinating. And then gym outfits. Who wouldn't want the gym outfits? I bet those things cost more than the dolls now. Because the dolls are easy to get hold of in the gym outfits. I had a whole set of the gym out, uh, dolls for one time. Oh, in this storm, I definitely had her. I got her head on a uh, another body altogether now. Because that body is, is just manly. See, Hasbro just doesn't know what women look like, evidently. Because the women all look like men. Sparkling Divas. Hmm. Okay, so that's an ad, but it's interesting. Something different. An ad, and then we're at the last page. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I've been on for 30 minutes. All right. So, hey, I hope you enjoy this. Comment below. Let me know what you like the best out of this magazine. And let me know if my pacing's okay, because, my gosh, I cannot believe I'm spending 30 minutes on a magazine with you guys. But there's a lot of good stuff in this one. 
these were fantastic. Those last few pages were absolutely fantastic. Man, this was packed full of great stuff. I, I really wish there was a way to share this with you guys. Like, you know, on Archive, they got all these old magazines on there. You can go on and download and read them on the PDF file. I, I can't do that. I don't have the, t the way to do that. But I wish there was a way that somebody would share these with everybody because they're not going to reprint these anytime soon. I, I, the people who made this magazine, guys, can y'all dump them on the archive for everybody to enjoy? Because I, I just, I love these. And they're fantastic, and I'm glad I didn't get rid of them. Although I don't know where my hot doll magazines are. I'll have to find those one day. I do got several plastic tubs here to go through. I probably should get back to work. Well, took some time out for the day to spend it with you guys, so I hope you appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Comment below, and have a great one.